The amazing drama you're about to see is a matter of human record. You may believe it or not, but the real people who lived this story, they believe it. They know. They took that one step beyond. It can, of course, happen anywhere. That brief encounter with something never to be entirely explained. It's happening now, here in Memorial Hospital. It's very late, and most of the patients are asleep. Most of the staff is off duty. And most of the lights are out. But the lights never go out here on the fifth floor. For here, 24 hours a day, life begins. And ends. I'm afraid we'll have to ask you to leave now, Mr. Barryman. I, uh, I, I, I thought we didn't have regular visiting hours on this floor. Well, we don't, but your doctor feels that. Anyway, anyway. Mr. Mr. Berryman is from the press. So long, so long time since I've talked to a gentleman of the press. Mr. Watson, we don't want you to talk and thrash around and get excited. All right, all right. Now sit down. Maybe I should go. <laughs> Nonsense from a dying man that gives me some rights around here. Mm -hmm. Now, sit down. Hmm? You have five minutes, Mr. Berryman. <sighs> Is she gone? Yeah, yeah. Good. I wasn't kidding, you know. <laughs> I'm down pretty, pretty close to the end of the string. Oh, I don't know about that. I do. Well, what paper did you say you were from? Chronicle. I, uh, I do feature stuff. And, and when they told you Ronnie Watson was about to pop off in Memorial, and why don't you drop by and do a piece on him. What did you say? Now, I, w I want the truth. Well, I... I... You tell me the truth. I said, who the blazes is Ronnie Watson? Thank you. I knew that. You don't look like a horse player. Did, did they tell you about me, I mean? All of it? Did they tell you that one year I, I rode 345 winners? And that time I, I made Four hundred thousand dollars in stakes in, in three weeks. And the time I made a million in three months. They told me. Did they tell you about that time in California? <coughs> Look, Mr. Mr. Watson, I think you better take it easy. No, no, no. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm, I'm going to have a long rest in, in just a little while. And be, before that, i I got to find someone who will believe me. Believe you? Uh, about what? No, nobody ever has. Sam said no one ever would. But somebody's got to believe me. 
Some of just got to believe me. Well, I think I better get the nurse. No, no. I'll be good. I'll be good. Please sit down. Please, please, please. Sing. Sam Berry. Sam Berry was was one of the greatest jockeys who ever lived. He was my friend. I was I was only twenty years old. And I was the scaredest young jockey on that Ohio wheel. Outside of Sam, there was only one person in the, in the whole world I really care about. It's a girl named Rita. I thought she was quite a girl. I thought you were my girl. I can see you better from here. Barry rides Flyboy in cap. My, what a famous man. And all the headlines. Sure, the racing phone. Two old fashions in a ginger ale. One of these days. I know, one of these days. You're really gonna win on Flyboy tomorrow, huh? Well, it's a cinch. Unless you get too cute with that daddy's choice. Are you kidding? The way she quits in the stretch? If I can save second money, that trainer will be the happiest man alive. Well, Flyboy's got a ring. For a lot of reasons. Sam, you said afterwards. So it changed my mind. She's got a right to know. Well, maybe, but... A right to know what? What is this? Take it easy, kid. Take it easy, I'll tell you. Tomorrow's my last race. As of tomorrow night, I'm ex-jockey Sam Barry. What? You must be kidding. You can't quit now. Not when you're right on top. I'm not on top. I'm just a little over the hill. I'm in the bushes because I just couldn't get mounts in the big time. Well, that's no reason to quit. It's just too tough, that's all. Too tough making weight. Too tough getting out of the sack before daylight. Too tough coming out of the gate. And too tough going for that little opening on the rail. Yeah. Just can't believe it. It's not going to be the same without you. Well... I'll come around to see you every once in a while, see how you ride, see that you do everything I taught you and do it right. Or else I'll call you dirty names like the rest of them. <laughs> well, you taught me a lot, Sam. And I'll remember it. Well, just wanted to be sure that there'd be a boy who still knew his way around the track after I quit. Well, what are you going to do? Well, there's a little place in Jersey. Bar and grill joint, a restaurant. Real nice. Figure with my name on the door to draw. Sounds like you need a lot of money. Twenty thousand. Well, I got ten saved up. I figure Flyboy will be about two to one. Two's for my ten will get me thirty. That's enough to buy the joint and live on while the place gets started. Yeah, if you bet at all. I already did. That nag of yours is the only one who could give me any trouble, but like you said, she'll quit in the stretch. So that's the big secret, huh? How come you knew first? Well, there's one other thing, and uh, one other reason, really, why I'm quitting. I'm, uh, getting married. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think that's great. No, really great. I, I was worried about you being lonely away from the track. But with two of you... Well, who's the girl? Do I know her? Yeah, you know her. Well, what's the matter? Come on, who is she? 